Welcome to the Two Minute Guru. My name is Daniel Bogdanov. Today we're gonna to be doing an oscilloscope survival guide. An oscilloscope is a tool that you need to know how to use if you're gonna do any sort of electrical engineering or electronics work. At its very core, an oscilloscope helps you visualize what's happening on your electrical signal. The first thing we'll look at is we see this nice sinusoidal waveform on the screen. What's going on? Our x-axis, our horizontal axis here is time. And our vertical y-axis here is volts. So we can see over time, my system has a sinusoidal electrical signal. Time passes from left to right and volts go from low to high. You'll also notice that I have grid lines vertically and horizontally on the screen. The values up at the top tell me the magnitude of each of those grid lines. So this says 50 nanoseconds horizontally. So that means each one of these horizontal grid lines represents 50 nanoseconds in time. With this waveform on screen, I now wanna be able to manipulate my signal. So I have a set of knobs here that's gonna to correspond to each of the four channels. And you can see when I turn this knob, I'm gonna zoom in or zoom out vertically on my signal. When I turn this knob, I zoom in or zoom out over time. I can then use these knobs to see exactly which portions of the signal I want. You might be asking, why is the signal static on the screen? Why isn't it changing or moving? Well, actually it is. And what the scope is doing is just taking snapshots of this waveform. Let's look at what it actually looks like over time. Here we're looking at a one hertz sine wave. So it cycles once per second. This is slow enough that we can see it as it happens through time using a special mode in the scope. Now we're looking at something more complex than a sine wave. Let's say you wanna just look at one of these signals. You wanna stop it and see what's going on. The scope has a special run stop button that will pause the acquisition and pause the waveform on the screen. So when you hit that button, you can see the signal stops. And if I zoom out a little bit using the horizontal knob from before, we can see that there's a lot of signal here and we're able to go around and we're able to look and see what's going on in our signal. We can use this other knob up in the horizontal section. And we can actually scroll through our waveform. And if you're extra lucky and your scope has a touch screen, you can actually just use the touch screen to swipe through and look at your whole signal over time. So you walk into the lab, you take your probe and you attach your signal for the first time and maybe you see something like this. What do you do? The easiest way to get from seeing a useless signal to a useful signal is the auto scale button. When you hit that button, the scope is gonna automatically set up the signal how it thinks you want to see it. And then you can go in and use these knobs to adjust the signal to be precisely the way you want it to be. So as a beginner, I recommend using the auto scale button to get close and then using the knobs to scale and tune the signal to be precisely what you want to see. We've looked at a few things in today's survival guide. With all of this information, you should be able to go into your lab the first time and be successful. So now that you know the basics of oscilloscopes, be sure to check out other two minute gurus that cover oscilloscopes and other topics in more depth. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Keysight Oscilloscopes YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. Hit the like button and comment to let me know if there's other topics that you'd like me to cover in the future. I'm Daniel Bogdanov. This has been another episode of the Two Minute Guru. Thanks for watching.